working and being sick and trying not to be sick. So I was just in kind of a bad place in general. And then I just took a bit of a longer break. But, you know, I'm back. I'm all better now. We're all moved in. Still need to do some unpacking in the basement, but that's uh, partially because I need to get like a TV stand and some more shelves for some of my stuff. And I didn't unpack a lot of it until just a couple days ago because we were painting. How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Now, I hope I don't see this in the demo, and I think it might be because I haven't updated my video drivers in a while. But there is this one spot where the frame rate just absolutely fucking tanked. I don't think it's in this section. It was only for like 30 seconds, but it was it was bad. It was bad. I wonder if these are just pictures of people from the dev team or their family. So far, when it's not shattering my eardrums from the balancing being bad, the audio design is pretty damn uh, good so far, I think. Got some dips there, no problem. I would prefer a steady 60 the entire time, but I'm not going to be that picky about it. Let there be light. Let there be bullets. God knew what was up. The Second Amendment's good enough for God, it's good enough for me. You gotta hold A. Hmm, which way do we go from here? Looks like there's more stuff that way, so I'm gonna go through this door first. Uh oh. It's gonna be a jump scare, isn't there? <laughs> okay. That was the first aid spray, I remember that. I'm not gonna use it, because uh, I am a perfect gamer that has not been damaged at all during this run. Bad boy Leon going in the women's room, come on, man. Can't I just shoot that off? No. Okay. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Nope. Open this goddamn door! You're dead regardless, I'm sorry. Not a whole lot I can do about that. Sorry, spoilers, but this isn't a demo. I'm just kind of thinking out loud, I'm not trying to ruin it for anyone else. Yeah, hang in the oh. Jesus Christ. That's a bad way to go, man. It's bad. This is different. The notebook is different than before. Okay. Before it had little drawings of like arrows pointing to, to them. But this just tells you for each thing that you're looking at, you can get a one of the medallions by using that order. So for the, I forget what was up top. Those orders look different too, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to do that. that yeah, it hurts. One thing I never understood about the Resident Evil games, all of the main characters, how come they don't get turned when they get bitten? 
Does the first aid spray and the herbs, do they just have super healing properties that makes them unaffected? This is definitely a situation where we just run and not waste any ammo. Characters are just immune. Yeah, maybe. Oh, you do not look good, buddy. Marvin Bravo. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I couldn't. Here. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. <laughs> Why is he carrying handcuffs with him? What is he going to use those for? I'm ready. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just going to leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I just slow you down. A shit ton of blood. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Me. Don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Click on the inventory screen. Where's down? Okay. So instead of it just being single use, is a gauge. I like that. I'm sure on hardcore it probably just runs out with one use. So if this wears out, or if I don't retrieve it from an enemy, does that mean I can't like cut those open? I wonder. All right, we can solve one of these puzzles. Hang on. So this is the lion medallion. Useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. Show you points of interest in items you haven't found, but, or have found, but haven't picked up. Okay. Find a caution the danger. Yep, pretty self-explanatory. Lion is lion, olive branch bird. Easy peasy. I don't remember if they basically spelled it out like that in the original. I might go back and play the original sometime. I'm going to get a lot of playtime out of this, though. At least one playthrough for each Leon and Claire. I might even do it reverse order and then hardcore as well. That's the general plan. I don't know if I'll necessarily stream every single one of those playthroughs, but... We'll see. This is not how I imagine my first day. Yeah. I don't know. If I'm heading towards my place of work and I go to a gas station and it's overrun by uh, what appear to be zombies, I'd probably just turn back around and like, hey, deuces. I think it's a pretty damn good reason to call out. That's, uh, Leon has a much better sense of justice than I do. Granted, I can't really have much of a sense of justice working in a grocery store. Justice for my job, at least. Hmm. 
that's been super duper gross. Every time I've seen that, it's like, do you need to be that detailed, Capcom? Holy shit. Super fucking gross. Yeah. We're in liquor country now. And no, not the drinky kind. Hello. Well, I didn't have any boards to patch that up, so... Fuck me, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through there because we're... Committed, I think, once we jump that way. Plus, probably should grab the map. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like that. It even has a little icon on the map for what the item is. Very handy. I'm guessing we get bolt cutters at some point. Record of evidence. Events. I guess I'll read it all. September 25th, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority, as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. 27. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. Yourself a, a cuppa there, Leon. Excuse me. Don't like. Did I miss any items? I feel like I might have missed an item. So leg shots don't do much, it seems. Oh, there we go. Yeah, those are important to grab. Now we can jump over the the window here. So I think we're blocked off if we don't go this way. Yeah, okay. Something over here maybe. Hey, more bullets. They're trying the tricky, they're thinking, hey, we're gonna You're getting all this ammo. Maybe I can just shoot my way out. Nope. Not quite that easy. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's something else I need to get first. Shit. I think I got the key for the weapons locker before going this way in the demo. I don't remember where it is, though. Over here? Oh, you know what it might have been? They might have just given it to you earlier in the demo because of, uh, you know. I think it might have been on that guy's body. Yeah. No shotgun for us right away. Or no, no. I think it was this guy. Or in here, rather. Hmm. Operation report. September 20th, 8th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons. No ammo. And too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I'd brushed her idea off before, 
But now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies. But I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. The guy that we just did not save. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. But you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Strolled in the corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Uh, so is it sorted by side? M R O. Ah ha ha ha. Might take a little bit more work to get Scott's name. This must be Scott. What a fucking jerk, Scott. Damn it, his body's in the way! I can't... Ah, oh, shit. Hello. Gunpowder. Okay. Pieces of gunpowder. Two of them make handgun ammo. Gunpowder high-grade gunpowder make shotgun shells. Two high grades make a mag ammo. Not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. N E D. Okay. So it's N E D or D E M. M R. I can't see the fucking thing because of this guy. His arm is in the way. That looks a little goofy. I think it's a C. Hold on. Kind of looks like a C. So C R M. Okay, never mind. M R C. Just brute force it. Okay, that's fine. That's it? Oh, no, it's a gun part. I thought it was just a magazine. Okay. Custom part for the Matilda that extends clip capacity to 24 rounds and shortens reload time. Wait, is that for my current gun? Yeah, Matilda. All right, shit, let's go. I did not expect to get a fucking fat upgrade like that so early. Fine by me. That kind of lessens the sting of not getting the, uh, the shotgun early on. Unless it's Resident Evil 4, I think you're required by law to wait about two to three hours for getting a shotgun in an RE game. Oh, hey, buddy. He's shy. What? What the? Uh, okay, I guess there are critical hits still. That was a thing before, right? Right? <clears throat> Aiming definitely is not great. Nor should it be. Okay. There's probably a couple things we can get in here. Don't think we can get anything that needs a three or a two. Storage locker terminal memo. 
It appears that the key patch of the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, you bastard. Who else fuck, th fuck it up this badly? So we can't get anything on that side. We can get... There's another knife in there. 106 and 109. This was the room where the frame rate just tanked, but it's because a zombie came in while I had my back turned. I don't know if the same, same thing will happen. And is the shotgun still on the back? Looks like it. Okay, let me go develop this first, because I think it's right here. We should be close by. The shotgun is here. Alright. You can't kick the door open like you can in the other ones. Alright. Need to get used to that. Now can I take my knife back here or... Okay, so they don't have to be straight up dead. You just have to incapacitate them. Mouth is the most weak point in the entire head. Mm, maybe. The game might be realistic in that sense. I don't know for sure. All right. So I think we need to go down that scary looking hallway here. Did I actually look over here? Yeah, I did. And if you ever want to feel like your aim is even worse than it actually is. Just play a Resident Evil game. I haven't been getting any... Oh, there's a board. And I can't pick it up. Is there a safe room nearby? Speak of the devil. Exactly what I needed. Commemorative photo. Excuse me. That's uh, that's a picture, all right. Oh, I can come back here multiple times. Okay. File contains evidence. Do not leave out. Okay. <coughs> Don't need that medallion right now. You know what, we're going to combine that uh, herb with the red herb, so that'll be fine. Same with the gunpowder, we don't need that. Probably about to get more right here, I imagine. Fucking told you. I don't see any reason to hold on to it, so I'll just make some more bullets right this second. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poison. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits. Or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution, so maximum health increase, I guess. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. Give me them herbs. Yeah, I know how to use this inventory system. There we go. Probably a good time to save. I'll probably rotate. How many saves do we get? 
Not infinite. Probably rotate about five or six for each character. Maybe five. We don't need that many. And, uh, all right. Let's combine the gunpowder. Okay. We are ready to go. I don't really want to carry more than one healing item on me, because I'd rather not have to come back to get items. I'd rather suffer for a bit with lower health. Not that we'll be able to avoid backtracking entirely, of course. Something tells me I don't want to board up that window. At least not right now. Just a feeling. Just a feeling. So much stuff I can't get to and is bothering me. Bothering me. Okay, that's new. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with that. I'll only brute force it if I have at least one clue. Shotgun shells, but I don't even have the shotgun yet, you punks. Portable safe, what? Examine an item from different angles by selecting it using the examine command. Okay. Brute force puzzles like this. is kind of easy to fuck up. I just had this. Took a little bit too long, but that's fine. Spare part, a small part of some sort. For what? Can I examine this too? For a weapon? Oh! That's very important. Press a button, light up its corresponding lamp, light them all to open the safe. Buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Okay, well, that's done. That keypad is very important. Question is, do I go this way first, or do I backtrack? I think I'm going to backtrack. You're still alive? But I guess I need to pick which side I'm going to get.
So I wonder if you don't board up windows if that means you are guaranteed to have a lot more zombies in there or if that doesn't really affect it. Oh, here we go. So let's take stock of what we have available. A knife and gunpowder or what looks like more storage space and shotgun shells. Honestly, the storage space would be enough. We may not even have a choice, so... We do have a choice. Wait a minute. No! I need the other keypad. God damn it. Well, I guess we're going to get some shotgun shells. I should have should have done the other side, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Kind of fucked either way. What? Oh no, it was 208, wasn't it? get that other key cap eventually. I'm somewhat tempted to board of the windows just so I have some more storage space, but I think two slots should be fine for right now. Now, let's see. Need to go this way. Goddamn. I wonder if it feels any better using a mouse with this game. Maybe I'm just so used to using that for a shooter at this point it just feels bad for even Resident Evil. No oh, more red herbs. Sure. Guess I'll save one of those for when we find some blue herbs. Ah, finally we can get to some different places. 